All right, so where are the teams gonna be? Skins! Uh, uh, plaids. Plaids, plaids. Plaids, white meat. It's all right. Bring it on, Starty. My name's Eugene, spinach breath. So let's start this. Vegetarian? So let's start this. Get the ball, Steven! Get out of there, play! You foul with me, I get the ball. There's all fouls in street ball. Urgh. Baby! TV is so quite down. And uh, now to kill the mood, Heather Cleave. The lumberjack. Man. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Uh, 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 uh. Good morning. You're really enjoying a pain here. It's less than an honor to have you here, Heather. The World Junior Lumberjack competition is coming up in a few months. It's us, boys. Yeah. Young talent. Oh, so excited. These young guns bring a tear to my eye. You know, as stupid as this competition is, I think you guys can, like, those Guess who those fans are watching? Yeah, exactly. That's a lot. That's Most, a new record. Mostly this guy. Yeah. yeah. That was a waste of money. That was a waste of money. That was a waste of money. Waste of money. You know, that, that guy kind of looks familiar. Quiet. Okay, Heather, I hear your son is competing this year. How well do you think he'll do? Heather, you don't understand. I can't do this. You don't support me not eating meat. I don't know. I think that's kind of a 
dick move from Heather to do that, you know? I mean, she well, didn't even... It's the family business. I, well, I understand that. It's but... just, he, he, he's not good. I, well, I know. He's absolutely not. terrible. I know you want me to cut down these trees. No, Heather! No. He's a tree hucker. He's not going to want to do this. He doesn't even eat bacon. Yeah, bacon. I love bacon. I love it. <sighs> Mom, no, I can't do it. You don't understand. It, it could hurt the trees. I can't. No, no. It is really bad. He doesn't. I asked him to practice with me one time. Well, I don't even think he knows how to hold an axe. Steven. Steven. He's crying now. Now he's crying. Does apply to me. Whoever did this insulted my honor. I don't know, he's really upset. <gasps> yeah. Community's on. Oh, well, that's in my pool, man. Starburns. That means you. My name's Alex. Well, maybe you should spend five hours sculpting that in your face. His name is Alex. His name is Alex. Steven. <laughs> hey. It's gonna be alright. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure you'll do fine. Yeah, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll watch your back. We're, we're gonna come in now. Okay. Oh no. Oh, Steven. Oh. You're better than this. Yeah. I love the trees. I love the trees. <laughs> do you know what they do in the rainforest? Do you know what they do in the rainforest? Community is on, man. Let's go oh, nice community. Okay. Hey guys, just, just wait. I'll, I'll be right there. Guys, I'll be, I'll be right there.
fucking cabin, Starchy. Oh, yeah. It's Eugene. Yeah. It's Eugene. Fine. We got a lot of good training going on over here. Yeah. You ready, so. Steven? That's the spirit. Anyway, this place should be a perfect training spot for you, alright? It's gonna be good. Yeah. Lots of trees. There are a lot of really nice trees. Yeah, and I'll already get cut down by my luscious steel axe. Yeah. How does that make you feel, Steven? Cutting through their bark. Does that get you excited? Okay, <laughs> look guys, let's, let's just start this training montage already. It always goes by faster when you do a training montage. That's true. Hello, I'm Brian Scalabrini. And I'm Max Powers. And welcome to the 595th Annual Lumberjacking World Junior Competition. There's nothing like some fresh wood in the morning. Nothing I love more. No, there isn't. And we have Heather Cleave here with us, with us today, the former women world champion. Heather, could you come over here with us? Hello, Heather. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I'm just, I'm, I'm floored right now that I'm meeting you in person. This is quite the honor. Oh, I'm, I'm quite flattered myself, actually. Oh, oh, you're so too kind. Your appearance has changed since we last saw you on Cassadia South News. Uh, your hair is much longer. What product do you use? I use uh, Head and Shoulders, mixed with Pantene Pro V. Oh my goodness! I might have to try that myself. Oh, can I touch it, Heather? Go right ahead. Oh dear. Stroke it, yes, please. Oh, that's really nice. That's very nice. 
You got some little bit in your mouth there. Oh, I like the way it tastes. Ah, it must be that, that mixture of the shampoo. Yes, and I use it like floss. <laughs> okay, is that, well, but it's that long, you might as well. So, your son is competing in this year's competition. How do you feel about that? I think he's gonna lose myself, but it's worth a shot. Shouldn't you be supporting him? Have you seen him lately? No, he can't support that. That is understandable. He seems like quite the <laughs> But... You'll cheer for him anyways, won't you? No. Okay, now come on, that's a little bit unreasonable. He's your son. You birthed him into this world. Well, if you put it that way, I guess I have to. You have to. It's obligatory. And Heather, I have to ask. Could I, uh, think I could have a, a, a boob touch? It's, uh... Well, if it pleases you. It would please me greatly. <laughs> oh, God. So, um, you see a lot of the competitors and contestants swooning over you. How does that make you feel, being the, probably the best looking woman in the world? Probably, I am the best looking woman. Who do you think you are? I'm Probably. Sorry. Yeah. So how does that make you feel to have everybody? Makes me feel great. You think you might take any of these long lumber young lumberjacks into your bed tonight? I'm looking at all of them and bringing them all home with me. Keep them like trophies. That's a good <laughs> plan, Heather. <laughs> That's awesome. They're all very lucky men if they get that option. They very are. Well, thank you for uh, spending your time with us today, and thank I you. hope to see you out there wielding an axe. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And this has been Heather Cleave, everyone. We'll see you at the beginning of the first event. The 96th World Junior Lumberjack Competition is sponsored by Twinkies, Cooking with Grills, and Dick Punch FM. Hello, I'm Brian Scalabrini. And I'm Max Powers. And welcome to the 256th Annual Junior Lumberjacking Competition. We're here on day one, and this is a very exciting year for us as we have our new record of seven contestants. That's right, you heard me, seven. And eight fans! My goodness, this oh. is a big year for the games. I'm a bit nervous here. The weather is beautiful today. It's a beautiful day. All right, so we're gonna be going to live to Heather Cleave right now with the opening speech of the games. Welcome to the 600th Annual Junior Lumberjack Competition. Never has there been a day where humanity has come together to gather around in one big open field like today. Our first event is going to be the Stand and Log Chop. And may the odds ever be in your favor. Now, before we get started, I am going to personally sing the Canadian Anthem. <coughs> I'm Brian Scalabrini, and I'm here with Stephen Cleave, son of the Heather Cleave. No, Stephen. Uh, what can I call you? May I call you Stevie or Steve? What can I call you? Uh, you, you can call me. <clears throat> Stephen. Stephen. You can. Stephen's fine. Stephen's fine. Allergies. I'm. I'm sorry. Okay. I understand. Now, Steven, this is your first competition. How excited are you? Well, I don't really like cutting down trees, so... You, you don't like cutting down trees? Nope. This is a lumberjack competition, and you don't like cutting down trees. Nope. You must be quite the disappointment to your mother. In fact, I was talking to her earlier and she has no expectations for you. Did you know that?
Start the camera. Start, start the camera. Okay, we'll do it live. All right, I am here with the returning champ, uh, Carmen Sanchez, right? Yep, that's All right. right. So, um, last year you won the games, and there's a ton of new competition this year. Um, are you nervous or excited or just ready to win? I'm ready to win. I'm coming into this thing with a pocket full of confidence, and I'm taking home first place. All right. What kind of uh, techniques do you bring to the game? Uh, a lot of strength and power, you know. Okay. Okay. Um, what makes you think you're going to win this game? There's a, some strong guys out there, some fast guys out there. Uh, I, I think I'll win because I have a lot of experience in this. That and there's a tree hugger in the competition, so I can't really take him seriously. Very good. So that was uh, Carmen Sanchez. Future lumberjacks. I'm Jack. This here's my buddy Wilfred. He doesn't talk. Now we're going to teach you some events. First event is the standing log chop. You're going to take your axe, swing it back over your shoulder, and when you bring it down, make sure to hit right in the tape, right in the middle of the tape. Don't you miss that tape? You hear? Don't miss that tape. If you miss the tape, you're going to have to start all over. So, let's demonstrate, Wilfred, what do you do first? Good! What shouldn't you do? Correct! Now, the next big thing, after you chop halfway through the log, you're going to have to flip it over and chop from the other side. Show him, Wilfred. You're missing the tape, Wilfred. Welcome to day one of the World Junior Lumberjack Competition in our 892nd year. Today we'll be starting with our first event, the log chop. The rules are, whoever chops the log the fastest, wins. To start us off in this competition, we have Stephen Cleave. The son of superstar, he superstar Heather Cleave. Okay, and he won, oh, oh. That I, oh, he's not. He's just tearing okay. up a piece of the bark. All right, that uh, I don't think that counts. That, okay, we'll not count that. All right, next contestant, please. This is Raphael. Look at that form. Oh Whoa! my goodness! Oh, that was quite the chop. He is that looking was impressive. That looked fine in those jean shorts. Here we have Star T with his laser pointer axe. He winds it up, winds. Oh, oh, oh. it's tough for him. Oh, He's hoping dear. to win this competition. Oh, okay. Oh, he broke okay. the chopping block. All right. <laughs> well, next up we have Clay with his signature toothpick. What was oh, that? Oh, my goodness. Damn it. Oh, dear. Oh, he no, threw the axe. Oh, dear. Hazard. Oh, God. Okay, Car. Oh! Oh, Carmen wow, just is. right up there. There it is. And here's our defending champion, Carmen Sanchez, returning with a bang, winning the first event. How does this boost your confidence for the rest of the competition? Well, I'm already pretty confident, but this helps quite a bit. Oh, you're a saucy one, Carmen. Uh, disappointment was in my body today after I lost to Carmen. It sounds like a girl's name. I feel ashamed that that sounds like a girl's name. We trained so hard, and... Hey, speaking of training, why don't we use this uh, treadmill? Ah, never mind. Yeah, exactly. Okay, hey, man. It's okay to get last place, man. I mean, I don't even want to be in this competition. You're not first or last. So then we all got last. Oh, yeah. Raphael, your hair looks shorter. Yeah, so does Starties. Yeah, um, yeah it it's, does. A, it's actually the lights. Um, they're sure. coated with a special coat of trioxy riboflavin oh. that um, actually makes everybody's hair look shorter by a couple of inches. Oh. Does mine look shorter? Yes. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, it looks good. good. I, I like it. I feel the longness to it. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's. 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 It's, it's, it's got it. shorter. Yeah, yeah it, it, it looks shorter. 
It actually really helps with my star T because usually it's like down in my chest. Ah, <coughs> yeah. yeah. It's, right, it starts uh -huh. with, yeah. It's, it's UG. Does it's it work on pubes? I'm Brian Scalabrini. And I'm Max Powers. And welcome to event number two, the log throw. Carmen Sanchez steps up. Oh! Just nicked it. And here comes Stephen Cleave with his mom cheering for him in the background. What is he wearing? Oh, wow. Dude, that was actually pretty good. Yeah. That, he might have a chance to win. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's going to apologize to Oh, me. he's... Okay, he's grasping the wood. Okay. Here we have Raphael. Oh! And our winner for that round was Raphael. Welcome to event number three. Tree climbing. Starty steps up. Look at him with no shoes. Wow. He's, he's just, just up and already. down. And oh, and he's coming down already. My goodness. Blink of an eye. And he's down. Here goes Raphael. He's at the top. Oh. Oh, and he and falls. He's fallen. He will be disqualified for that. Steven Cleave. He's a tree hugger. He should be good at this. <laughs> God! <laughs> Come on, just down. No! Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Oh. Oh. Take his IV! What is his IV? Take his pulse! No! Oh, he's not dead, he's not dead! Alright! Oh! You okay? Okay! Be fine! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pussy! <laughs> Turn it on! Turn it we'll do it live! Alright, so we're here with um, Star T. It's, it's Eugene. So, Star T here has <laughs> it's just won. Eugene. You, Star T, has just won the competition, the tree climbing competition. So, what kind of technique did you use? Uh, I climbed barefoot because that's how the monkeys do it. And I think it really helps me out a lot. Well, it seemed to. You climbed that tree pretty fast. Well, thank um, you, sir. How do you feel about winning this competition? Um, I'm pretty confident that this will help my chances a lot, and this trophy is going to look great on my wall. Alright, well, yeah. good job out there. Thank you, sir. What? Hello, I'm Brian Scalabrini, and I'm here with the paramedic. What was wrong with Steven when he fell out of the tree? Well, he, he fell out of a tree. Landed on his back. I saw that. Is he going to be okay? Well, you know, his back was... It was okay, so... So we I can't, I can't say he's going to get back on his feet soon, but is he going? He will, he will. Is he going to live? He's a strong boy. He'll live. Alright. His mother would be proud of him. Pro probably not. No. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> You're right. Alright, well thank you. Good yeah. job out there. You saved a man's life today. All the day's work, my friend. I'm gonna win this water racing fetch thing. I have to. I'm not gonna, especially let that champ guy go and win. Hey, you know what I'm gonna win? Nothing. Being a good person. That does not mean anything it in does. this competition. Just trees don't deserve to be hurt like that. What? We build houses out of them. This has been an actual thing for hundreds of years. Chopping it down happen. trees. Doesn't need to happen. Okay. This we make paper. We do everything with trees. That's what this, everybody says. We use these, oil these too. These couches are made from <laughs> trees. This <laughs> cabin is built out of trees, Stephen. This yeah. cabin is built out of trees. My toothpick. How's it feel to be windless? Clay. Yeah, I'm honestly, I am flying high after. Why would you even climbing. say something like that? Yeah, you're not doing anything. So I'm ready to win. I'm ready. To win I'm doing much better than you. You got last place in every single event. Okay. <laughs> Star T may suck. It's Eugene, and I know. I'm going. There's to gonna be some competition in that clay. You better be ready for that, man. I took my level 5 swimming. Pretty level fast. 6. Past my third try. Welcome to day 2 of the World Junior Lumberjacking Competition. Today, we'll be doing event number 4, which is Fetch. Fetch is where you jump in the water and get a stick. Raphael starts us off in the swimming event. That is a nice wife beater he's wearing. Wait, I think that's a skin. Oh my god, it is. Oh my... That's disgusting, the poor man. Oh dear. Oh, he has he's got the stick. the stick. Look at, oh, oh, that's a strange Interesting. technique. Yes. I've used that technique before. And 
He's out. He's... Wow, there's his nipples. That is a... Yeah. Okay, here we have Steven. And he's in... Oh. And he, he slowly wades into the water. Oh, oh what is he on? He's beer found can. some beer. Uh, he would dump that out. I thought he was out. There's a stick. Oh, his mouth. And it's falling. He's dropping. Here goes Clay. Oh, there he is. He's the oh, he's, he's found, found it. Stick. He is pretty far out there. He's coming back in. Look at that form. That's quite the doggy pattern. Dog. Oh, he has his toothpick in his mouth as well. And there's our winner for that event. Yeah! What form, what technique. Nice nipples. Ah, it felt good winning that race today. Yeah. Swimming. But you know what? Tomorrow, in the obstacle race, you got nothing. What are you talking about? I'm definitely gonna win. I've been working on my sprints, man. Yeah, but you sprints, see how fast I jumping, swam? Diving. Swimming and running are basically the same thing. One's water, one's land. Well, I'm diving through air. No. Yeah. No. Hey, guys. Uh, you guys did good today. Yeah. Good luck tomorrow. Oh, thanks, man. You too. See you later. Yeah. yeah. Who was that guy? Man, he's in the competition. What? Yeah, he's from China. Ch why are we the only ones being broadcasted uh, at this World Lumberjack competition? Because we're good looking. That's fair. That's a fair. <laughs> that is. But I'm going to win tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. And just go to bed and dream of it. Hi. Welcome to event number five. This one is the race. It gets kind of tricky too because there's some little secrets you got to follow. It's a very specific route, so, so let's show him, Wilfred. Where do you go? Now, see, the contestants are gonna have to run through that tree to get to the finish line. It can be, get a bit confusing, so you gotta stay on top of the ball. Hey, Wilfred. Hello, I'm Brian Scalabrini. And I'm Max Power. And this is event number five. The Day obstacle two. race. Sorry. That's quite all right. The obstacle race. All of our contestants have won one event, except for uh, Steven. So, whoever wins this next event wins the entire competition, unless Steven wins, uh, but that probably won't happen because he's a... So... Yeah, let's get it on. We have Carmen Sanchez here, the returning champion from last year. Carmen, you are this close to losing this competition. How do you feel? Are you nervous? I'm not ner nervous at all. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it 120%. That's 20% more than possible, so you're probably gonna do pretty well. Yep. Well, I hope you don't win because you seem kind of cocky, so get out of here. We're here with Raphael, who has won one event in this competition. Raphael, what are your thoughts heading into the final competition? Well, obviously, um, I gotta win. I'm a winner at heart. I'm a winner from day one, when I was born. This world was better. So, my mother was blessed. I remember that day. I felt a certain presence the day you were born. My life really turned around that day. Yeah, I, I've heard that story multiple times. I bet you have. Well, good luck on this next competition. Thanks, babe. We are here with Star T. It's Eugene. Okay, Star Eugene again. Um, you have won one event in this competition and you're going the last one. You look pretty confident here. Yeah, um, well, the tree climbing was a big win and I also have an excellent sense of direction, so I feel like I'll do excellent in this event. I bet that quality really helps you with the ladies. Yeah, it shows me right where to go. Whoa. <laughs> we got a clever one here, fellas. My money's on him headed into this next competition. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Hello, everybody. We are here with the Stephen Cleave, son of Heather. Stephen, so far on this competition, you have won a total of zero, zero events. events. Tell us, how does that make you feel? Well, you know, I get the chance to be out here with these beautiful flowers, and that's, that's good. 
So tell us, how does that make you feel? No comment. What up? All right, we are here with Clay, who has won a total of one event and is very close to being the World Junior Lumberjack Champion. Now tell us, were you named after open homosexual Clay Aiken? Uh, no, no comment. That's suspicious. <laughs> so tell us, what are your thoughts going into the next competition, the obstacle race? I gotta... I just gotta try my best. Go hard and not try to try to win the win. Or pull out the win, if you know what I mean. And they're off! Nope, not quite. Look at those. Oh. There's a stern face. There's Clay with his plastic He's, he's ready. Leg. There's Carmen. And where's Dark King? Oh, there oh, he is. He's surveying the area. He looks ready. Testing the wind. He looks like he knows where he's going. Oh, they're getting ready to go this time. And they're, and they're off. off! And who is that? Oh, oh. oh. and Starty, Starty has gone the wrong way. taking an alternate path, it appears. Well, he claims he had a good sense of direction. Well, right now we're starting with Raphael in the lead. There's Clay in second. Not behind. Steven surprisingly in third, with Carmen in last. Although I just for a start you though. There he is. And he oh He's he went the wrong way again. Okay. Hops over the tree. This is why it's an obstacle. And oh Steven. And they And he walked, bolts it! They walked gingerly under the tree. Oh my that was oh. it almost looked like they planned that. That was interesting. And there's Steven and Carmen, and there's Starty, and he, okay. Oh, he's now running the wrong way, wrong way again. And they're lost. What? Where's the turning tree? They cannot find the turn tree. How funny guys. Looks like Steven has found it. Alright. And they're off! And they push him out of the way. <laughs> As they make the way through. Oh, there's Starty. No, Starty has gone the wrong way once again. Through the brush. Where the hell's Darcy there? Oh. Come around the end. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a close one. Very close. Oh. A picture of that. Good job, Steven. Cross the finish line. Cross the finish. Nope. Oh, he did it. He did it. He made it. Oh, that was a photo finish. Oh. That was a photo finish. How do you oh. feel about that race? I feel good. Did I win? Feel yeah. good? Yes, you won. Really you won good. that I race. Long run. I that did it. That dive, dive had magnificent I form. Won. You look Thank like you. a swan out there, bathed in grease. I did it. Uh, How do you feel about favorite. your win? So that's a big win for you. Hey, you just won the World Junior Lumberjack Competition. Woo! Yeah, winner. Oh, winner. Oh, winner chicken I dinner, I baby. He will be eating uh -huh. that chicken dinner tonight. That's Wait a minute. Sure. Well, I thought I won. No, uh, Raphael won. I saw he he won. But Clay won. I lost my toothpick in the mix of it. I it was I, at the same time. No. Did anyone take a photo of the finish? Any? Did we really not have anybody take a photo of the finish? That mustn't have been in the budget. Well, this is awkward, folks. What now? Well, I'm Brian Scalabrini, and I guess we'll find out who won at the awards ceremony. Steven, you failed me. You're a failure. <laughs> I never wanted to be here. You're like a son to me. I hate you! Yeah. Starting. Yes. So how do you feel about being last place in the race? Sorry, last? 
Last place. Yes. No, I think you're mistaken. No, no uh, I'm, I'm clearly first place. Um, Nobody else could have made it that fast. I took so many shortcuts. You are last place. I already made it cross. Uh, even even Steven, Steven beat you. He crossed the finish line before you did. I don't hate you! So, started. Yes, Steven? Oh, it's, uh, it's not Eugene? Not in the mood, Steven. <coughs> Somehow, all of you got past my shortcut, and I don't know how. I totally won that race. Yeah, you know, it, it was my diving technique that uh, won me the race. I won the race. No, you didn't, Clay. Who put the most effort in is my question. I did. Did you go through three different creeks and through two different forests, Clay? That's not even the I don't route. think so. You you it, run to it, a tree and then you short, turn left. It you was went, a, there was four turns. Do you guys turns. have It was a short time. baby trees. <laughs> Steven, I'm tired of you crying. <laughs> I'm going to get Heather down here. Oh, yes, please, please do. Yes, uh, please do. Yeah. I think you're just jealous that you got last place I think and we got tied for first place. Now they have to go under this huge inspection skills. of who... Your compass what? skills? That doesn't have any compass skills. There was a route. You just run straight. And, and literally I found a different way. Showed us and it every still got me there. And no, and it, it got you there last. last time. I mean, Dylan didn't even get last place. Were... How do you know my middle name? Your mom told me last night. <laughs> no, I was with Heather last night. Why didn't anybody was... tell me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome to the fourth annual World Junior Lumberjack Competition Award Ceremony. I am Max Powers. And I'm Brian Scalabrini, and we have been your commentators for this event. We have some unfortunate news to deliver you to, to you today. It has been uncovered that through this entire competition, everyone has been cheating in every event. So everyone is disqualified, except for the one contestant who did not cheat, and I cannot believe I'm saying this, but the winner of the seventh annual World Junior Lumberjack competition is Stephen Cleave. Woo, Stephen! Steven! Yes. Wait, wait, wait. What? Uh. Steven! I bet I'm, I'm probably more, you're probably more shocked than I am about this. How does this make you feel? I just peed a little. I'm excited. That's disgusting. <laughs> hey, uh, why don't we get your mother up here? This is probably a very proud moment for her. Heather, come up here. Heather, you had no expectations for your son coming into this. How does this make you feel? Well, it makes me very happy. And I'm a little <laughs> flustered for my son winning. I bet you are. It's a very proud moment. Why don't we get him up here? You guys can share a hug. Come on, hug it out. Just hug it hug out. It hug out. it out. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> thank you. That is parental love right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was, that was beautiful. <coughs> do, now. Do I, do I get my prize now? Yes, can we get uh, someone up here to present the trophy to Steven? Anybody? Who has the trophy? So, who brought the trophy? Here, oh my here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Your very own log. But it's, it's a dead tree. <laughs> what a pussy. <laughs> Steven, uh, congrats on winning the competition. You Thanks, Colin. You deserved it. I think it was best that you won. I'm proud of you, bud. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, so how are you feeling today, Steven? Well, you know, this, this movie's had pretty poor character development so far, so you know, why start now? 
That's true. He's got a point. That's true. Good idea. Good idea. Bob boys up for ball? Ready for yeah. some plaids? Yeah. Versus uh, life beats? Yeah, sure. All right. Here we go, Eugene. That's nice. That's Let's a good moment. This. Good <laughs> moment for you two. Give me a hand, show me the door. I cannot stay to wait anymore. Somebody say, be what you be. We could be old and cold and dead by the sea. But I love you more than words can say. Well, I can't count the reasons I should stay. Okay. <laughs> Everyone quiet and you're on. Hello, I'm Brian Scalabrini and I am Max Powers. Not in it. Quiet! Everybody shut the hell up! And that's how you do event number one! <laughs> We're gonna put that in the movie. That's gonna be in the movie. Oh wait. I am the worst swimmer. I am Kyle Marhart, and I will not stop recording until Cage says I. <laughs> I'm gonna get Heather down here. Oh, yes, please do. Uh, yeah, I think you yeah. can do that. No, like, I don't why haven't we done this before? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll start that line again. Call me Dylan, I'll say, how do you know what that means? Your mama told me last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Can you do that? I want to do that. Oh, yeah. Somebody tell me! <laughs> 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 I feel like the camera should be on the competition and not the fucking crowd. <laughs>